Hey guys, just thought I'd show you a demonstration of my home build vacuum former. I'm using polythylene uh, sheets from Amazon. Um, these are about 0 0.04 uh, inches thick and you get them in various sizes. And then I made myself a vacuum former here. Just has an old heater at the top. Brings down the heat onto the plastic film. I made the frame to hold the plastic. Um, my core for the co uh, canopy that I'm building. Um, that's out of foam and and uh, balsa. Fiberglass, there you go. And then uh, a box just full of holes and a shop vac attached to the box to suck out all the air. So I'm just heating up the plastic right now. It takes a little bit here. Um, but when it starts to bow, it's getting nice and hot. And then I'm going to drop the frame down onto the uh, cord that I made. Make sure you fiberglass it. I My first one I did um, actually melted the foam because there's actually quite a lot of heat that comes out. And the plastic gets really hot. And also notice I put blocks on the bottom here because my first one, I wasn't happy because when the plastic comes down, it has to make a 90 degree angle to get flush with the, to get sucked down onto the, onto the board. And you get a bit of a gap. So I'm going to raise it up. I also made my plug a little bit longer on the front and the back. And um, just so that because the plastic doesn't go perfectly onto the, onto the core. So it's getting heat, he gets, I don't know if you can see it, but he's starting to bubble here. I'm going to run the uh, vacuum here in a sec. That should be good. <laughs> So I don't know if you noticed that I was getting uneven heating here because um, my heater has a void right here where there's no heating elements. So it wasn't getting a lot of heat to the left. So this part didn't come down quite as nice as I would have liked. Um, but this is basically a one-shot process. You get it wrong, um, your project's ruined. And this, the plastic's not cheap, so I have three pieces of plastic. I've already burnt through one, and this is my second one. And um, this is the one I'm going to use. It's not perfect, but uh, yeah, a little bit of practice. Um, you can make your own um, canopies. Not too hot. So I, the way I've done this frame is all the screws are up, um, because you want a nice flush bottom so that you get a good suction with the board. And then I just have these little screws to uh, take, the, take it all apart. I'll just pause here for a sec. So that was a struggle to get that out, but I finally got it out. And um, there's the plug. Again, it's longer and taller than needed because I'm just going to trim, trim all the excess. And what I was talking about here are all these creases. It doesn't even really affect my canopy because the canopy is going to be higher. So I'm going to cut it right about there all the way around and then hopefully I get a fairly clean um, mesh with my body. I have a couple of bubbles here at the front where I had some problems but other than that I think it's pretty good. Uh, it really picked up the fiberglass um, little bumps and things so if you want a super clean canopy then you can spend a lot more time finishing this. I really didn't do a whole lot to this, um, but you could probably sand that right down super smooth. 
and then this will turn out a lot cleaner like I've got some nice spots where it's nice and clear but along the top it really did show up the little, every little bump and notch because that's I guess where all the pressure is going down but that's it in a cinch um, yeah give her a shot make your own canopies all right see you guys later